I went to school in uh, 1926. Uh, 1926. That was last century. And uh, what did you remember about the school? What did you like about the school? What did I like about the school? Well, it, it, it was. It, it taught me the basics of life and that I retained throughout my life. It taught me honesty, that was a big thing. It taught me honesty, it taught me to be forthright, it taught me to speak and I've never stopped speaking ever since. I used to get caned at school for talking too much. I was sent to the back of the class for talking too much. And here I am today, still talking too much. I, I put down my 90, I'm in the 92nd year, I put that down to being taught how to live, how to live, how to learn and live, which is the motto of the school today. And the Hampstead School was one of the happiest schools in the country. We were happy Hampstead. In fact, I got nicknamed happy later on in life, and I say that I got that because I was happy. I was happy at school, probably too happy for some teachers, but I bless them for that. Without those teachers who give us the discipline of life in those days, I probably wouldn't be as a good person that I am. I think I am anyway. I think that I owe debt to the teachers of the Hampstead School. I'm proud to be here today on behalf of a lot of those teachers that aren't here and also a lot of the schoolmates whom they taught. They were, from the primers on, they were considerate towards the pupils. In the winter time, in the primary, prim, primary one, primer one, primer two, Miss Fawcett used to, on the coldest days of winter, of her own violation and her own work, without any help, she used to heat up cocoa on the stove and in the class. The stove was used for heating in those days, as well as the steam heating and she used to warm up uh, uh, cocoa with just kids were freezing cold. 18 degrees of frost was, was the norm in midwinter in those days. There used to be glass on the gap that we used to skate on on the way to school. Hampstead School took us on school picnics to Caroline Bay and to Maroon. It gave us a life which I would say a lot of children today would be lucky if they have as much as we have. Looking around this school today I realise that it is more modern, more advanced and children are being probably much better looked after than us. But this is the modern life now and we are survivors of an older age. But still thanks, Hampson, happy Hampson and I have to cease on that note otherwise you'll say yes, he's still talking.